60 years after the start of the Korean War. The fighting ended with an armistice three years later, but no peace treaty was ever signed with North Korea. The truth is we know very little about the North, for decades the most reclusive nation on Earth. But recently, the door opened ever so slightly when a CBS News team was allowed in to put in focus some of North Korea's mysteries. For nearly 60 years, communist North Korea has shut itself off from the world. There is no place in the world like North Korea. Seen from space, it's literally a black hole between the lights of China to the north and the Republic of Korea to the south. When they decide it's time for the Western media to come in, it all happened in a matter of hours. North Korea gave a CBS News team a four-day window to attend Communist Party ceremonies in the capital of Pyongyang. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il would introduce his youngest son and heir, Kim Jong-un, to the world. On our flight from Beijing to Pyongyang, an attractive 22-year-old North Korean flight attendant asked me where I was from. I told her, I'm from America, but I live in Japan. Right away, she snapped back, I hate America. I hate Japan. And then she politely asked me what kind of beverage I wanted to drink. Will we see this kind of crowd? Excuse me. Please. please. I'm trying to understand. I, I, so. I, I, it I'm, almost I'm, feels like you're on the back lot of some Hollywood studio because you're driving by all of these stores and restaurants, but no one's ever in them. I can still hear uh, the sounds of the tapping on the ground of their uh, boots. They may look like the Rockheads, but everybody's got guns. Dissent is met with prison or death. North Koreans have no contact with the outside world. Their focus is President Kim Jong-il. Nothing compares to what happens when Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un walk out. This sound goes through the, the crowd. Uh, this sort of woo, and they start all lifting their hands up. And I look at their faces, and they're all crying. And that's when you realize you're in something entirely and disturbingly unique. Despite being backwards and bankrupt, North Korea has built as many as a dozen nuclear weapons and may be making more. The real concern about North Korea's nuclear capacity is, is not that they're going to launch one, but that they're going to sell one. According to a new UN report, North Korea sells $100 million worth of non-nuclear arms every year to countries with terrorist ties, like Iran and Syria. Money from the weapons sales goes into the pockets of North Korea's leadership, which is also linked to counterfeiting and money laundering. North Korea, in some ways, is a cancer on Asia. In the past, international aid in the form of food and medicine has gotten North Korea to stop its nuclear weapons program. But Pyongyang has repeatedly broken its promises right after it gets what it wants. The trick for the United States and the Obama administration is how do you ensure that you aren't rewarding North Korea for its bad behavior? Tensions are highest along the 160 mile demilitarized zone. On one side, UN forces including 28,000 Americans. On the other, North Korea. Hidden in those hills are 11,000 artillery pieces aimed at South Korea's capital. There are 22 million people in Seoul, 100,000 American citizens. They're all in range of North Korean artillery. Right now you have a, the country sort of being run by a man who's in his 60s and has already suffered a stroke. Um, and now it's going to be turned over to a man who is in his 20s, about whom we know almost nothing. Kim Jong-un will inherit a country in tatters. Starvation is chronic, killing as many as 2 million people since 1990. A third of the country's 23 million are undernourished. Given the, the succession that is unfolding before our eyes in Pyongyang, I think what we're seeing are opportunities arise, potentially, to not only uh, explore diplomacy with new figures in the regime, but also to see if there are uh, new actors with whom we could deal. But it's a giant neighbor that could have the final say. Chinese leader Mao Zedong once said that China and North Korea were as close as lips and teeth. And for now, China supports the Kim regime's grip on power. 
First, there's the threat of hundreds of thousands of starving North Korean refugees flooding into northeast China. Second, a new unified Korea would likely be a U.S. ally, and that could bring the possibility of U.S. troops coming up through South Korea, into North Korea, right up to the Chinese border. Brides and grooms, fresh from their weddings, the first place they go is this monstrous statue of Kim Il-sung, the first leader and father of North Korea. And they go to be blessed. From Kim Il-sung to his grandson, the anointed heir, one family ruling one nation since its creation more than six decades ago.